So there's a lot of talk today about uh, who is essential and who is non-essential. You have employees trying to figure out whether they are essential or not essential to their workplace. You have employers trying to figure out if they're an essential or non-essential business. But as you think about that word, essential versus non-essential, it really feels kind of harsh, doesn't it? It almost feels kind of demeaning. I mean, think about it as an employee to consider the fact that somebody might deem you non-essential. Now, extend that into our lives. Has there ever been a time where you have felt non-essential? Has there ever been a time in your life personally when you have felt insignificant, that you are not an essential part of life or society? If you have, get in line behind me because I have felt that way as well. Yesterday, I talked to you about the eternal nature of God's word and the idea that the word of God, speaking the world into existence that preceded creation, reveals what you can know about God. The word incarnate, the word that became flesh that dwelt among us, the word spoken and the word written, that that's the means for us to be able to know God. And now when we talk about the essential nature of who we are, we have to go to what God says about us. You see, it doesn't matter what man says about me. It doesn't even matter what I say about me. It matters what God says about me. Yesterday, I told you that this word that God had existed before the creation. But there's another word. There's another word that existed before the creation. It's a word that defines our essential nature in God's sight, our value in God's sight. If you claim the name of Christ, the word that existed before the creation is your name. Your name. You see, the scriptures talk about a book of life, a book of life that God has. Daniel referred to it in Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Paul referred to it in Philippians chapter 4, verse 3. The apostle John referred to it numerous times in the book of Revelation. The, the idea of the book of life extends all throughout scripture. And there's something important about this book that relates to our eternal value in God's sight. You see, John, in Revelation 13, 8 and 17, 8, he refers to the origin of this book. He says that it is the Lamb's book of life that was written before the foundation of the world. Before the foundation of the world. Are you seeing that? God spoke the world into existence. It was by his words that he created the universe. Even, but even before he said, let there be light, God had a book. And in that book, before the foundations of the world, if you claim the name of Jesus Christ, your name is written in that book. Your name is was on God's mind. Your name was on God's lips as he put it into the very book of life that would show who were his, who belonged to him. Friends, that is an essential life. That is a life of value. That is a life of significance. So as you go through today, my hope for you is that you will live into that reality. As you sit at home, as you're with your family, would you share the idea that if you claim the name of Jesus Christ, your name was written in the book of life before the foundation of the world. And that makes you essential. That makes those whom you love who claim the name of Christ essential. And if you are involved in a conversation with somebody who doesn't yet know that Jesus Christ is their Savior, who hasn't said yes to God's yes, would you extend that to them today? Would you show them that value in order they, that they might recognize what God has already known about them?
that their name is written in the book of life if they claim the name of Jesus. May we do that as we treasure Christ together.